after a quick trip to the old hardware store there to get some bolts to center on the engine stand or uh gonna hook her up there tear her down see what all's wrong with this old girl any guesses leave them down in the comments Now, there's just the right amount of metal in here. Oh, you can't really see it because she won't focus, but you can see all the sparklies. Oh, focus. Yeah, she's, uh, she's gonna be interesting once we get into the bottom end here. No! 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 I think number eight is going to be the worst one yet. The head kind of just fell off this side, but. See here. Oh, yeah. Yep. That would be that spark plug strap bouncing around in there, Jaco. Now, that, that looks about like regular wear. Yeah, that that's normal how much shimmer that's honestly not as shiny as i was hoping oh it's getting there oh yeah who's that oh that's a leaf that Fish. didn't come from there <laughs> look at her now oh yeah there's there. lots of metal in there here comes the bearing material <laughs> I can't believe how much oil is still in it, considering how much came out blow by a tube. It was way over full on oil. I think some of that was gas. Yeah, I, <laughs> I agree. Look at it. All the shinies in there. No lifters are out. Looking down through the lifter bars, the uh, the cam doesn't actually look too bad. So thinking she might be all all crank related. Well, it looks like she was a rebuilt 305. She got 30 over pistons in her. They're, uh, I think they're, this one here is about 50 under now. I think, I think she might be, well, yeah, she's no good. Who knows? Maybe 305 might get rebuilt someday. No, it won't. Huh, whatever. Gotta make one more trip to old Ukrainian wheel and automotive. 
get some buckets to uh, get rid of the rest of that. And we'll finish the teardown. Call it a night. Hmm. Look at all that. Look at all the metal here. Oh, yeah. We'll just, uh. See if we can get anything in there. There's not very much oil in that filter. It, it doesn't look that shiny. I wonder if one of the oil patches got blocked off. Sure wasn't getting anything with the filter. Moment of truth. Oh, there, yep, that's a lot of metal in that pickup right there. Um, I think she might need some new bearings. Oof, let's see. Oh, it's not as thick as it looks. Oh, yeah, lots of, lots of metal though. Yeah, that's not good. More metal. There's a lot of metal around the oil pump here. Oh, here we go. All sorts of it piled up right oh, there. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, what's that a chunk of? That's a big chunk. I wonder if one of the bottom of the pistons. Piston skirts? I'd say if anything it'd be number eight. I don't see any. We'll have to uh, pull some rod caps. Knock some of these pistons out. So much metal in that pickup though. <laughs> yeah, it's no wonder she uh, she gave up her guts. International deep. That's for the, there's lots of, you write your name in there. T, E, V, I, N. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. I mean, oil pump doesn't look bad. Those gear pumps hold up to a lot of damage. Yeah. But. Not seized. <laughs> How is that for an idea? Oh, uh, yeah. Really good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just smudge it some more with that oily rag. Yeah, you're making it far worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're pretty sure we already know why she uh, seized up. But I'm going to throw the old pipe wrench on the snout here and see if we can at least get her to turn over. Oh, there's no bolt in here. Hold up a moment. You can just okay, found the bolt. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> she's Got free. free. She's a runner. Oh God, is that tight? <laughs> yeah, the clearances are a little, a little tight. She ain't no race engine. Oh, she's cleaning right up. Throw it back together. She sounds a little, a little metal on metal. She's kind of. What do you mean she's meant? Oh, oh my God. That's pretty good. Man. Felt some kind of metal hit my hand there. Hmm. Yeah, that's definitely a chunk of piston. All right, first bearing cap. That, that'll just stay there, Jacob. So I'm gonna take a look at this. The bearing was not in here. No, it is. Is it? Yeah. No, it's still on the crank. Oh yeah. catch get out of there yeah she's a little black 
That's what you want, though. Oh, yeah. Well, the Babbitt is completely gone, and I think we're through the copper. We're just in the backing, I think. Just the the, the steel portion well, of it. She's still good. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's pop this piston out all the way and see. If... Oh, yeah, she's good. Are we getting anywhere? Uh, I don't think so. I think she might be a little egg shaped. <laughs> She's stuck on the oil ring, it feels like. Yeah, let's try and pump her back in. Pump it back in. Oh, the piston ring's out. Grab another hammer. There she comes. Oh, you can reuse that. <laughs> she's like brand new. Is the wrist pin used up? Oh, she's still mint. Well, what hole is that? Number one, still good. Yep, the piston rings aren't even stuck. Nice. If only bearings in her, she'd be like new. Hmm. No. <laughs> No, I would say she's not like new. Oh, uh, I think there might be no bearing in there at all. <laughs> she's got excessive play. You don't even need that. This, kids, is how you disassemble an engine you never want to put back together again. Oh, there's bearings in there. Oh, yeah. They're just very little, small. Little, yeah, a little smaller than they're supposed to be. Get out of there. There. There <laughs> It's like razor blade. Yep. Oh, this piston comes out much nicer. Let's, uh, you have, you have a crank it turn here. Oh, we're jammed up. The other way. Oh. Oh yeah, that's uh, the back side of that bearing. I'd say she she got a little hot. A little blued. A little bit. Oh, she's sharp right there. That might have been from me hitting it with a hammer. Yeah, could be. I wouldn't lay all the blame on yourself, though. <laughs> Piston rings are still free. I'm really disappointed that it. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. That was good. Tried to rip the top of the piston off a little bit. Things were partying in there, hmm. big time. Oh, look at this bearing jiggle. Holy. <laughs> it just melted right out the side. Yeah. That one's in hurting shape. Toss me the hammer there? Nope. Um, I think she might be a little stuck. Whoa. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I have never seen that before. See, this is a learning experience for me just as much as everyone else. Oh. Oof. How is it? Oh my god.
Take a look at the inside of that rod. Oh, oh there's a bolt. Oh, she definitely spun in here. Spun yeah. a lot in here. Oh, yeah. Top of that piston's looking a little rough, too. <laughs> we'll have to re inspect the uh, cylinder boards and see if we can find all this aluminum transfer. We're we'll getting this bearing off. I'd have to take the other rod off first. Yeah, I'd say she's probably underneath. Yeah. Maybe this is the bearing end of that rod. <laughs> Could be. That'd be quite the uh, predicament, wouldn't it? Oh, it's just the other one? Yeah. Oh. oh, there's where our chunks are coming from. Yep, that'd be it. Wonder why it was the bottom of the. That's weird. Normally you don't see the bottoms come off. I don't think. I'd say if she ran much longer, that uh, entire skirt would be coming off. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh, that's got uh, quite the edge on it. She might have spun, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you look at that? Just smeared her all out the sides. It's rough, too. Like, you guys can't feel this, but that's like sandpaper. It's really good for crankshafts. Oh, these ones are welded together, feels like. Oh, there oh. goes one. Where is it? Oh, there she is. Yeah, this one's the same deal. She's she's right sharp. Oh, oh yeah, she's uh <laughs> she's long overdue for oh, replacement. Oh gosh. Doesn't taste very good. <laughs> Let's see about getting this one apart. One half. Oh, look at the chunk missing out of it. Split it open here. Like, I think oh. I actually remember seeing that chunk of bearing in uh, in the Indian Valley. <laughs> I'm not even kidding either. Oh, this one was welded right together. Which way was that? Jesus. Oh yeah, like so. It's probably sat something like. Something like that. Yeah, roughly. God, that's good. I don't think I've ever seen one that bad before. No, this is the worst for me too. This is like it's like paper thin. It's so thin. Ooh. Oh. It's getting a little tight again. Yeah. Oh no, she's she's taut. She's very taut. Very tight. Oh my god. Maybe not that way. We'll try the other way. I don't know how we can take pistons out and it just gets worse. Uh, I'm not too sure. I, I think she might be stuck there actually. Might have to pull those main caps off. How much plays in this guy? <laughs> That's uh a little loose. I'd say she's a little bit stretched out. Yeah. Just a wee bit. They don't have the original bolts in here anymore. Well, we'll just pull some main back. Oh, you smell that? 
Oh, the main mirror. That doesn't even look that bad. I've seen way worse. Oh, yeah. Ooh, she's got uh, quite the aroma, though. She smells awful. There's a lot of metal filings down in that uh, bolt hole. <laughs> Again, we got one good groove in there down to the copper, but it, it's really not that bad. Well, oh yeah, okay. So we got uh, some bearing material in there. I don't know. Uh, well, it could be the thrust bearing. Oh, it's yeah, it's thrust bearing melted down. This should be this color. Piston actually don't look too bad on this one. Oh yeah, that Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that bearing seen some better days. Should spin now. Give her a little pipe wrench action again. Oh, like a dream. Except for this one. She's gonna get that one out now. That's the key word. Oh, oh chunks out of me. Oh. Oh, that'd be why. That's a part of why. <laughs> that hole goes pretty far through. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> That's actually what I was hoping for. There we go. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That rig is welded right in there. That one and that, folks, is uh, nitrous for you. All of the nitrates. Perfect. Oh, oh that wrist pin's a little <laughs> chunky. You guys can't feel this, but it is. It's like loose, tight, <laughs> loose, tight. <laughs> nice. It's pretty stuck where it's at. Yeah, it there's a really, really stiff spot right there. Oh, we'll see if she lifts up. Oh, yeah. Alright. Yeah, this is before. One side of the truss is still good. This side of the truss is completely hammered. There's chunks of copper just peeling off of it. Melt it into here. Uh, she's uh, the cross hatching is definitely not really cross hatching anymore. This one here don't look too bad. <laughs> you can see where we laid her to rest, eh? Where the piston was sitting when we shut her off. Yeah. There's lots of. Oh yeah, look at that one there. Yeah, that's the bad one. That's, that's the, the one that had the hole in her. Yeah. Definitely the worst one out of all of them. How's this side look? Not that bad compared to that, but you can see, look at this one here. You can see where that piston was sitting when it shut down yeah. on the bottom side there, down here. Yeah. Now overall, the boards don't look too bad, honestly. Just that one really rough spot. Yeah. But that's it for the old 305. She's had her days. Yeah, it's time for this thing to go back to the mall, I suppose.